Have you ever accidentally deleted something important and then emptied the recycle bin right after? Yeah, I did exactly that and not just any file, but some really important client footage that I really needed. But I managed to get everything back thanks to a recovery tool that I successfully have used before. Now you're probably thinking, why did he delete that folder if it was so important? Yeah. Okay, I did not do it on purpose. But you know what? I have limited hard drive space on my iMac and sometimes I need to do some cleaning. So unfortunately the file was dumped together with a lot of other stuff into the recycle bin without me really noticing. And when you press empty the recycle bin, it's gone. And there's no way to get it back unless you use a recovery tool. I can't show you the actual client files, but I recreated a scenario to simulate what happens and to show you how to recover files that are permanently deleted on your hard drive. We are using some drone footage that I have copied to the hard drive and it's uh, yeah from Fredensborg Castle that is recorded a foggy morning here in the fall. So the folder is a mix of uh, JPEGs, uh, raw files and uh, video files both in uh, horizontal and uh, vertical. But as you can understand, this type of footage is not easy to recreate because it's a specific time of day, a specific time of year that you will have a situation like that. And that's also what happened with the client footage that I accidentally deleted. So it was not easy for me to recreate it. All high quality work, exactly the kind of stuff that you would kick yourself if you lost it. Trust me, I did. So let's recreate the problem by right clicking the folder here and move it to the bin. So if I open the recycle bin now, you can see that the, the, the folder is in here with the images and it's gone from uh, the external hard drive. So if I right click the folder in here and I say delete immediately, you will be notified. I assure you want to delete a foggy morning in Fredensborg Castle. The item will be deleted immediately. You can't undo this action. So now the files are gone. If I've just deleted the files without emptying the recycle bin, it would have been an easy fix. I could just have put the files back. But once you permanently delete the files on an external hard drive, the system can't help you. And this is where Recoverit comes in. Let's start by launching Wondershare Recoverit. After entering my admin password, I'm greeted with a super clean interface that's organized and easy to use, even if you're not a techie. You see all the recovery options. You have the file recovery section where you have easy access to hard drives and locations, to an SD card in case you have corrupted files on that. There's the possibility to recover deleted files within the past 30 days from iCloud and you have a list of previous scan records uh, listed here. And um, the photo video restoration section uh, where you can select a drive to recover your lost video, photo and documents, which is the option we will use to recover the permanently deleted files from our experiment. There's also an option to fix corrupted video files in case uh, that they don't want to replay. This is an option that I successfully used in the past to recover corrupted files on the DJI new internal storage. In case you're interested in that video, you and see how that was done, then I would leave a link in the description below. Also, if you run into some serious uh, problems with your system is crashing or your hard drive is failing, there are some options down here that will allow you to rescue your data from a crashed computer and there's support from NAS and Linux systems as well. There's a lot of options, but right now we are just focused on the previous deleted files from earlier in this video. So we start by hitting a hard drive and locations, and then we select the external two terabyte drive, and then I simply press scan. If you have made the scan before, you will be presented with the option to either do a rescan or load the previous scanned data. It immediately starts scanning the disk, digging through the deleted sectors to find anything it can. On a two terabyte drive, this can take quite a long time. So I normally just let it sit and run in the background while I'm doing something else. And then I check in once in a while. What's great is that you can actually preview and restore files while the scan is running. You don't have to wait until the full scan has finished. Perfect if you're in a hurry or if you just need a specific file. To narrow things down, I use filters. I said only to show relevant photo and video files. You can also sort by date deleted, file type. It's super intuitive and it helps you to avoid digging through irrelevant stuff. 
it took a while for um, the deleted uh, files from Framesport cards were actually showing up. So I decided to let the scan complete in the background. Once completed, I located the files. I previewed them and made sure that the quality was intact. But unfortunately, it seems there were some issues uh, with some of uh, the video files, which we have to address a little bit later. So I selected all of them and then I hit recover and save everything to a new location. Always save to a different drive to avoid overriding it the deleted files that you have on the, the hard drive that you are trying to recover. So now I have all the files back in a new freshly saved folder on the desktop of my computer. But as you can see, if I go in there, some of the video files are not 100% intact. At least they will not replay on the computer. I'm pretty confident that I could use the tool to recover them because they had the original file size. And for that purpose, I use the corrupted video repair option. And I'm loading two of the video files that won't replay for this example. Wondershare Recovery tries now to do like an easy fix of the video files. And as you can see, it was unsuccessfully doing that. Zero videos repaired successfully, two videos failed to be repaired. Try advanced repair option on the failed videos. That means that we have to provide some sample footage from the camera for Wondershare to be able to perform the operation. For this demonstration, I will just use a backup clip that I stored in a safe location that is shot on the same day as the rest of the footage. But in worst case, I could just have used the drone and go out and shot some reference footage and use that instead. This time it was successful. Two videos repaired successfully, preview and save the videos now. Then I press save all and then I save the repaired files on uh, uh, the new location on the desktop of my computer. And as you can see, the permanently deleted files are now back in their original quality. I can't promise you this process will be super fast because it's actually not if the media is big like a external two terabyte hard drive that, like the one uh, that I have here. But at least you have a solid path to be able to recover the files that you might have permanently deleted. Imagine if these video files were from a paid job and I didn't have this tool, I would be in really big trouble. And as mentioned, this is not the first time uh, that this tool actually have helped me out. If you're a content creator, photographer, videographer, then this tool is absolutely worth considering having in your toolkit. And even if you're just someone that stores precious memories on your hard drive, this tool can save the day. You don't always get a second chance to recapture those moments. Recover it gives you that chance. The team behind Recovery, they know what they are talking about. They claim to be trusted by over 100 million users and have more than 20 years of experience in data and recovery. I can just say, if you're dealing with deleted files, failed SD cards, or even corrupted videos, this is your best chance, period. So if you want to try it today, there will be relevant links in the description below. Also, if you want to see some of the other functionality that this uh, tool can offer in use, then you'll be able to see that through these cards. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.